Hello. If you visited the e-commerce sites like the uh, Amazon and uh, other video sharing sites like the YouTube, then you might see the uh, some recommendation for the particular product that you have opened. For example, you are watching the uh, some music video, then YouTube will automatically give the a uh, few video as a recommendation. It might be based on the uh, channel that uploaded the video, singer, music label, and the any other feature. In this session, we will learn how we can provide the recommendation using the ML.NET. Here is a dataset that we are going to use. It contains the data related to the books rating. User ID represents the user who give the rating. ISBN represents a book for which rating will be given. And rating represents the value between the 1 to 10 rating value given by the user. We will use those data to check the whether its given book is recommended to the user or not. I have added that dataset file under the SSM43 folder. In the input model, I have loaded the, all the fields. In the result model, created the score property only, and it will be inherited from the input model. For recommendation operation, we require one additional NuGet package. Search for the microsoft.ml.recommender. Note that versioning of this package is different from the other package that designed for the machine learning. And install it. Here is a demo class that we have created. For this example, I want to separate the code into the various method as we have done in the image classification. I prefer to divide the code into the multiple methods if the size of the method goes beyond the 20 line. It provides a better readability. For this, I have defined the context, data view, split data, model, and estimator globally and created the empty method name execute. First step in the machine learning is loading your train data set. So call the load data method and create it. Within that, load the data into the data view. Separator is a comma and it has the header. That's it for the data loading. Now it's a time for the pre-processing those data. For the pre-process data method and create it. We need to encode the value of the user ID as well as the books ISBN. Assign those changes to the global estimator because we also need this while creating the model. Use the map value to key method to generate the encoded user ID. As well as the encoded book. Now we need to pre process the data set using the estimator. Use the fit method of the estimator. It will create the model. However, we do not require it. So I am using the method chaining for the transforming the data view. Split the data view. Here we have 3000 data for the training data set. Let me just use the 0 0.05 as a test fraction. Now it's time for creating the model. Call the create model method and create that method. We will use the matrix factorization trainer for the recommendation. So let's generate its option first. Label column name will be the rating. Matrix column index column name will be the encoded user ID. Now 
matrix row index column name will be the encoded book. Set the 100 for the number of iteration and also 100 for the approximation rank. Create a trainer for this. We need to use the recommendation catalog. Not that I have added the parenthesis here. This is actions and method for the context itself. And we will use the matrix factorization as a trainer. Pass the option. Append the trainer in the estimator to create the pipeline. Create a model by passing the training data set into that. After model creation, we need to evaluate it. First step is to transform the test data set using the model. Then use the evaluate method and pass the transform data view. And the print value for the R square loss function, mean absolute error, and mean square error. Now we need to perform the prediction based on the model. For this, I have already written the method, so paste it here. We have created the prediction engine from the model. Use the predict method to perform the prediction based on the input model. And in this print helper method, print the value of the user ID, ISBN, score, and flag that indicate whether it's recommended or not. In the our data set, value of rating will be between the 1 to 10. So if rating is more than 7, then it will be recommended. Call those methods from the execute method. Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Here it print the some values for the training iteration. This is the result for the evolution. And for those two prediction, one book is recommended for the user and another book is not recommended. Let's see what we have learned in this session. For recommendation, we need to add the additional nougat package that is microsoft.ml.recommender. First of all, we have created the pipeline for pre-processing the editor. In that, we just encoded the value for the user ID, books ISBN, then transform the editor view with the estimator. For the model, I have used the matrix factorization trainer. I have specified the matrix column and row index column name, as well as the number of filtration and approximation rank. Note that recommendation is a not built in catalog for the ML context. So it's just extension method and create a model just like the normal way. Model evolution and prediction are also in the normal way. Goodbye.